Julia, dobar dan. Julia, kako ste? Dobro. Boljš? Vaje delate, kje slišam? Ja? Ja. No, fino. Kako je pa oče, kje je moj? Ja, 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 pa. Kako? Ne more dijet. Ne more dihat. Aha. Pa vidim da je tudi nekaj druzga tam. Vidim da je... Father has a difficulties breathing, I was told just now. Uh, just one thing I will say. Uh, during MK Ultra in 2017, uh, 2016 and 2017, psychiatrist Peter Kopsch stated that it's a, it's a broad topic which was started. I think I took my mom on Tuesday to father. It was Tuesday I took my mom to father. And the topic was started by this type of topic because father has a difficulty breathing. The topic was started literally through, I told you about the house that police barricaded itself and remained with me being held hostage inside of the house during MK Ultra sessions between 1993 
and all the way to 2020, even when they delivered me from Poland to Slovenia. But I did not told you about what went on with the cars. My father's cars were used to the MK Ultra. I do not remember other cars, but father purchased this car in 2010. I don't remember other cars. Or through it might have been other cars also that were used during MK Ultra by other people, not father only, but other people. By father, absolutely. But question is also if not by other people. Or which one is the neighbor police investigator method Yerman? The point about the cars is there was not only father's car, but it was the cars from uh, private parties, including the police cars, military cars, they would commute me with, and it would be enormous amount of time I would spend in a traffic in the city of the Novo Mesto when commuting to the father back and or around whatever location in the Novo Mesto city MK Ultra was taking place. And the people I would be frequently inside of the car with would be police investigators as well as psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and sometimes other people as well. This procedure that you see here, my father barely breathing for this procedure, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch stated me <laughs> He stated me that he actually wrote off my father from my visits. He was sure, he was 100% certain I would not visit my father at all. For this degree, for 2016, 2017, as I refer to this, which was obviously like one of the last stages of MK Ultra as to what applies to father staying inside of the uh, home for elderly people and inside of the general hospital over the course of the years beginning the 2000, beginning the year 2000 when they started this stuff. Um, they refer to us in the same way as it applied to my merchandise which I would order from AliExpress or eBay. If, they, if it would be something that would arrive and they would do the brainwash on how it's not working and this and that because it would be a certain irregularity they would get from other orders and that's the kind of stuff they would use to supplement me in the future with my order and demand from me to say whatever uh, to basically discredit myself uh, for if they would not have, in other words, capacity to, if they would not supplement me, uh, my new order from the internet with already destroyed item, they would continue with their political schizophrenia. They would just continue. This is unbelievable. It wouldn't stop with happy ends. You know, you get like half functional item or you get item that is you know uh, I would get item that would be cosmetically just looking not good but still functional no 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 it always went on to demonstrate me how the item would be destroyed afterwards once they would get a hold of my backpack my belongings and so on it is the same thing with the father they crossed him out of the picture entirely certain that I would not even pay him visitations and if somehow I would pay him a visitation for this stuff here uh, having a difficulty breathing psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated me it would be just by basically visiting father uh, prior to his basically this would be his end this would be his death he used words we would kill him literally so my father might survive this all through the consequences he is paying 
are enormous for his age. He is 92 years old. He shouldn't be fucking spending his life here doing this. And instead, be outside walking, fishing, eating normally, having a normal life. No? Okay. There is no way you can take, you can fix the problems you caused me. The trauma that you caused me and you're doing this kind of stuff. Suggesting this kind of issues. There is no way you can fix these things. There is no way you can repair any of these things. This started on Monday when my mother had me wait inside of the car for one hour and 20 minutes something at the postal office. Once I already had it to pick her up, the telephone rang and I was told, don't come to pick me up yet. I was already on the way and still I stopped at the postal office and I waited for an hour and 20 minutes. But psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted me that during MK Ultra I would be abused, left to wait in the car, that I'm a nobody, that I have no personality. And no matter what mother does to me, I have no ability to say no. Um, I'm one of those people, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch claimed, who have no personality whatsoever and depend on my parents and as anything my mother would just whistle because I am I was according to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch like a mentally retarded individual uh, incapable to take care of himself uh, incapable therefore to even understand what went on around me uh, how I was treated that's according to psychiatrist Peter Kopp, that's how he rated me as somebody who had no personality, somebody who would make his point and like 10 minutes later with mom, it would be completely different. Uh, and describe me basically as somebody who would go completely off and 10 minutes later would not know what happened 10 minutes ago. Um, somebody to whom you can do absolutely anything and still will come back basically to get some more basically according to psychiatrist peter kapsch i was born to be mistreated those that was his evaluation of me i did evaluation of him but this was his evaluation of me this is how he rated me and he told me that I would be waiting with my mother stating to me, knowing that I would go to the postal office, stating to me during MK Ultra that would, she would not want to lose the items that I paid for. And so that she would stay the father longer time so that I would go and get my items from the postal office. This is really like a you know, if I would be just talking to you like this and I would have no proof about this stuff, this really would sound like a schizophrenia, really like a mental illness. But this is basically what went on. These are portions of the sessions, of the torture sessions, they cut into the pieces. And for, for what you see here, it applied exactly the post, uh, mistreatment from the postal office, exactly as you have seen on the video that I presented you with. Actually, I posted one today. Claimed me, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, I would stay inside of the car for I don't know how long, half an hour. My father had a habit. If mom left him inside of the car, after 10 minutes, she wouldn't come. 20 minutes, he would be gone. Sometimes she would have to come from the city walking. But yeah, I really don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, I waited really for one hour and 20 minutes, something like this. Uh, called her several times and um, not because I would want to hurry her or anything. I was really polite with her. She ended up uh, throwing the phone down on me without even explaining me anything about what went on, what goes on and repeating exactly the same scenario from MK Ultra. It's a physician that is in the neighbor room and will come any time and will examine father. 
But the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who would drive me in the car, back and forth, back and forth in the city also. One time, twice he would do, from father, and it's exactly what they orchestrated with, at the, had me wait inside of the car, and then they would transfer me back home from postal office during MK Ultra. He would repeat to me what shit I am, how I am a nobody, how I am I have no personality whatsoever. And as far as the mommy, he told me, uh, he doesn't know about the daddy, but he said about the mommy, he said to me, you're going to turn before even you're going to come to the bridge, which is in Lochna, in front of Kirka Pharmaceutical Bridge, Kirka Bridge. He said, and you will be turning around already before you're going to come to this bridge. And if you are not going to be turning around before you're going to come to this bridge, you're going to go through the bridge and then you're going to continue back toward the city when the mommy is going to call you. Those were exactly the words. This is how basically they treated me. They treated me like a mentally retarded individual. Mom did too. Mother did too. I told you this was a team operation. Mom did the same thing. That was precisely the evaluation about me. Uh, certain that basically you can do anything and get away with absolutely anything. My mom had a concept psychiatrist Peter Kapsch didn't have to give her. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was only taking the notes about her behavior. Then he would tell her where her strengths about the abuse are. And then what she would do is she would build the case based on these strengths, the whole case, which was continued to rehearse in a million different ways, which grew into a particular type of abusive behavior psychological abuse, really heavy psychological abuse that would go absolutely anybody fuse off. So I'm just saying this, this one started on, uh, it started earlier. It didn't start, this started actually on Friday. My mom said this started three days ago. No, it didn't start three days ago. This started actually on Friday. Mom already told me that father has a difficulty breathing that, she, that, that uh, certain things. Thursday, Friday, uh, talking about week earlier. Uh, and maybe even earlier, I would say. But the difficulty with the breathing using little the oxygen tank right there. Uh, this is a stuff that started on Tuesday. So today's Friday that you can make the count about that kind of stuff. Um, but what they also stated for Tuesday when I delivered the mom is that they would have father either uh, coughing on his own uh, when I would pick up the phone so that I could hear him on the speaker phone or if he would not be coughing uh, if, if he would not do this voluntarily by himself meaning they suggested that he's doing this to to be part of this thing that he's doing this like voluntarily this stuff they insisted me that father is doing this stuff voluntarily. And it, that if he would not somehow do it, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch went on, then we would make him cough. And it really did. He coughed when I called on the phone. He coughed, you know, exactly, exactly, exactly according to brainwash from MK Ultra. Exactly according to brainwash of MK Ultra. The whole, the whole, the whole scenario. Um, could I possibly rely on whatever psychiatrist Kapsch had to say? Yeah, that would be retarded because father is, um, how can I say, you have to be insane to subject yourself to the mistreatment of the psychiatrist at police request at age 92. Father figure out that the only way he's going to survive is if he will comply with his police abuse and just do whatever he's told to do. 
he, like it or not, was raped into submission at home for elderly people beginning the 2000s. First, it started like kind of funny. This fun turned into the demands from the psychiatrist Peter Gopch. You will have to report yourself at home for elderly people here and there. Then they started with pills, giving one slight signs, as what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted, to Nurse Yanko, to police officers, investigators involving it. They have to try MK Ultra sessions to understand what it feels like to do the damage like the damage is going to be done to me in the future. That's how my father, on the same concept, they were not subjected to the tests that give you basically stroke, signs of stroke. But that's how he got my father, because he demanded from people who participated, he demanded from them to subject them to the same, not to the same, but just to feel what mistreatment I would feel, what, what it would feel like. It went ahead and convinced father to actually accept whatever they gave, would, they would give one before they would throw him at home for elderly people or inside of the general hospital. Uh, they suggested him that this is good for your, they suggested me in Thailand, even in Thailand they insisted me that Every year when I get older, that it is so smart, so good, so replenishing for the body to stay in the bed for a few months every year, where you get natural food and everything, whatever, the best food, uh, and it replenishes the body. They supported this theory with what I told you was the neighbor, uh, Peter Hentschich, who claimed that he lost weight just laying in the bed. Then they got another guy who was claiming the same thing, that when he would wanted to lose the weight because of he would drink alcohol, because he would eat improper food, they would just get him in a hospital in the bed or home for elderly people and would stay there, I don't know how long, uh, maybe even a few months, and he would end up losing I don't know how much weight. Then he would get up and go out on the street unrecognizable. This is the shit that was used to convince father to do this kind of stuff. And even father would not go and accept the idea about uh, eating a substance that would eventually give him stroke-alike symptoms. Uh, but he had to. And psychiatrist Peter Kops, I'm not going to say that he was really good at he was violent enough to get him going. And whether he liked it or not, he had to accept that mission and subject himself to the total mistreatment as far as uh, obtaining not a real stroke, but they would give him something that would uh, pull uh, symptoms like stroke, convincing him that he will need this for later time when I would come to visit him at the hospital and it would be the police that would use father to set me up so that they could jail me. I was sure that I would go to visit father and at one point lose my temper, whatever, nerves, and react violently. And that would give them actually even an excuse for the lies which they have used for the psychiatric hospitalization against me in year 2013. Eventually in 2012 it was. Not even 2013, right? So this is basically what we have. Father doesn't feel too well.
uh, back to the story so that I finish this stuff. Uh, Psychiatrist Peter Kopp stated, literally stated for the Tuesday during MK Ultra, what's just happening Tuesday, if he will not want to, uh, if he would not cooperate with us, we're going to make him a uh, cough. All right, so that doesn't sound to me theory. That's why I'm here. I'm making sure that my father is okay. Uh, I want to know basically what goes on. Uh, for something, I'm going to repeat to you, they even claimed they would kill him. So, let's do this part. Psychiatrist Peter Kopp are really, really good at killing people, not at helping people, or yeah, they refer to as upon my return from Poland, if I would ever do. That's how they talked in front of me to my mother and to my father, talking about the police criminals employed at the Novomesto police station. They claimed in front of them to me that they are going to try to save them, that they are going to try to save them. They repeated this in front of me for about at least 100 occasions, 100 times in front of my parents. So what the fuck they did with my parents, it's, uh, it's just uh, a good question, but my parents did misrepresented issues, they did lie. They got me hospitalized in 2013, etc., etc. They owe a good explanation for it. This here was, uh, what is this thing here? This is, uh, uh, I'm not really sure what this is, uh, but on the last video I posted about the father, right? The last video I posted about the father uh, you were able to see this, which is fucking big. This stuff is fucking big. Uh, literally, you were able to see this on top of the drawer up there for what psychiatrist Peter Kopp claimed me. Once you see that stuff over there, that's when your father is dead. When you're gonna see that stuff, you're gonna know, right? You're gonna know that stuff can tip over. That means that your father is about to be dead. Oh, so this is, I mean, there's a good reason why I'm here, why I'm paying visitations, because oh. where the fuck in the world would you have a police doing, continuing stuff like this with a 92 years old man? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know how much you have noticed, right? But I loved, I love when a father started to cough and it sounded like he, 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 he. Uh, that was the stuff that was involved in MK Ultra, and that was the stuff psychiatrist Peter Kapsch interpreted to me that would give sign to father to laugh, basically, uh, for assistance performed to one, for care. I, when I retrieve a father from the toilet, literally, and called a, a medical team so they would come to inspect him, uh, he said to me after they left and everything, some really, really unpleasant words. Uh, I, I don't blame him because... Uh, a psychiatrist Peter Kopsch, I'm not going to say that he was really good at what he was doing. Uh, I made the video about him already, so I would not get into this. I'm glad I have made that video, uh, so I don't have to discuss, think about these issues anymore. That makes things much easier for me. Uh, I would not assume any of that kind of stuff. If he does have ability to pick up the signal to do the stuff like this. Um, I don't even doubt that kind of stuff. It doesn't have nothing to do with his condition. His physical condition clearly is deteriorated. You can hear his lungs, the way he breathes. Uh, but yeah, if I would go and say that father is faking it, I'm not saying that kind of stuff. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I don't like psychiatrist Peter Kapsch so much, so that I would have a board of physicians basically uh, insisting me that it's his lungs you can actually hear and this and that. Fuck no. Uh, nice try, but it doesn't work like this.
one thing I will tell you is that this here was deliberately here if you paid attention to because it's chair they placed here in this corner and have set this stuff deliberately here that I can tell you this stuff was deliberately here done placed okay uh, not saying that father is faking it like psychiatrist Peter Kopsch would want me to but this was deliberately placed here right in front of the chair and I know so because it's again the table this table here and this stuff that was placed in a such a way I'm going to demonstrate you what they are doing here uh, you would go and you would lift the chair but this thing here is placed in a such a way that is pushing that is on the chair basically lifted up and when you move the chair this thing here uh, whatever this is for the foot, this tray for the foot falls straight down and it makes noise. So one thing when it comes to the setups and shit, bullshit game, bullshit game is here. The proof I just got, I, it's not the first time they did this stuff. They did this stuff already before. And I told you that even I was told during MK Ultra they would do the stuff like this. Obviously that I would not register or something like this. Proof about bullshit is here, right here. This was the proof that you heard me. Uh, once I moved the chair, this thing collapsed and made noise. Shouldn't be like this. It's done deliberately like that. I don't know what the sound was, but this was when I was moving the chair to that place from there. The sound started again. Uh, they set this thing here too. This was a big danger when I was moving the chair. This too was here for the reason. I mean, you know. do that what do you put the chair here inside for in this corner why do you do this psychiatrist Pet Peter Kapsch told me because you will sit on the wheelchair he demanded for me to sit on the wheelchair so did you see that this is a whole police setup here done in a such a way that you will go for that chair if you want to sit in the chair and make noise and so on. Mother refers to these issues as a nonsense, non-imported, non-importing issues and rates me as mentally ill whenever something takes place would not even allow me to take a camera in my hands and video record which is quite professional actually just as I described on the video about psychiatrist Peter Kopsch's team work
father did have a brain surgery father did have a brain surgery uh, they did perform brain surgery on him uh, citing that he had hmm how do you say that I don't know what the cleaner Krvi Vaglavi he had a hat blood in the head and it was deemed that they saved his life when performing the well yeah brain surgery on him to allow blood to you know I'm not saying anything I'm just saying that uh, he became a toy literally a toy in the hands of the police he literally became a toy in the hands of the police Slovenian police the type of cough that you heard <laughs> that's like extreme exhaustion yeah, that type of cough that you would the person would give this kind of <laughs> is because he's completely completely exhausted because he's on his last toes basically that's like a typical cough uh, if I would relate to of the person to the person that is like completely completely exhausted like totally totally exhausted I have also noticed that father has this here which means that he does have a diarrhea uh, mother would not answer me a question when I asked her two days ago about exactly this color dish she brought home I asked her mom are you still feeding father I wanted to know in other words if she's still feeding my father what is going on is she buying a food from the stores if she go by herself or whatever and fits him or what the situation is
uh, how this type of infection works. This type of infection, <laughs> so, you know, I find it bizarre to, to see that they have a machine here that it will soak your saliva out of the mouth. I, that's very nice. I mean, that's very nice, fantastic. Everything is fantastic here. I, I even see they have an oxygen machine here. You see, it's an oxygen machine here. But the way this stuff works is by getting the person dehydrated to get the results that you see right there, this dry cough like this. Especially if you have a cough, it's very important that you are with a lot of liquid. And psychiatrist Peter Kopsch learned from the case of my father and brags about this issue still to the people how important it is to hydrate themselves, especially if an older person, like every idiot knows that stuff. The thing is, my father started to stop hydrating himself, stop drinking. And that was one of the issues the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch eventually have used to get my father as often as possible into the hospital where they would hook him up with intraveno uh, hydration, uh, which I find, you know, I mean, if you have everything here, how come the fuck you don't have, you're not making sure that he would get enough liquid, enough water? And if I was to ask this question, which I already asked before, the answer is right here this i'll tell you we give he gets the water he gets the through the feeding tube is basically what he gets according to the specifications and so on i bet that if he would have more water more liquid in his body uh, he would feel better and it's something i have used to actually bail him out of debt at the older hospital department in the city of the Novo Mesto, which is right now under renovation. That one is at De Franciski, I think, something like that. So, I don't have any kind of meter to know how much hydrated he is. But uh, that's the first thing you want to start with when you have this kind of problem. I mentioned to you the issues of hydration. The issues of hydration were little developed in my father. My father refused to properly hydrate himself in the summertime, even that he knew that he needs a liquid, that he needs water. You could say maybe that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, in a way, even spoiled him till he would end up end up in in the bed and they would whenever they would deliver him they would deliver him over the course of the years many many times because he refused to hydrate himself properly during the summertime however the hydration itself was created by my mother who was according to a recipe of the physicians dehydrate my father basically a thirst for the water through the use of coffee she was loaded him with. Uh, 
you know, because the more coffee she would consume, this is a fucking thick coffee, small coffee, that she would load him with, it would block his kidneys, create a distaste for the, for the proper way, for the liquid, for the water, and would practically, systematically just uh, exhaust him to the degree that he would start to exhaust himself by refusing to drink water, to properly hydrate himself. That's why I want to action this issue, the play with the water, with hydration, related to psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, how he was with the police, eventually enforcing that kind of stuff, with the father. I know what went on. I watched closely about what went on. The hydration issue with the father was also done through excessive amounts of food because the ratio rations that are given to him are the rations that are prorated through uh, this type of food, through the artificial food, you know, uh, which has supplements in it with the amount of liquid, which basically matches the description of what you see here, of this thing here, right? If you go, however, and you start to add extra food, such as was the case with my father, when it all started with the creme schnitte and stuff like this, with the sweets, then you will crash the system again. This time, actually, at the medical facility, this is a department for the close care at home for elderly people. You don't fucking go and, and start to feed one with the, with the sweets, with all kinds of stuff like this, your stuff, when you don't actually know how much his rations of the liquid are prorated according to the food he gets. He gets so many and so many grams of uh, food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and according to this also is what he gets, the liquid. And if you add more, if you add more uh, food, then you create a problem with the kidneys, with liver, etc., etc. Et you jam the whole fucking thing. It brings to hydration systematic. And we have again at home for elderly people, just as it was at home in our house, play basically with the, with the hydration. You can develop the taste for the water you can develop the taste for the water, just like you can develop the taste for the rice or for the potato or for the bread or whatever. All these issues can be literally developed, altered, uh, modified. And that was the case with my father. I'm going home because I'm not of any good to father. I'm going to post this video on as an update about what goes on with my father. What I wanted to do is I wanted to see how things are, what's happening. I don't have the right to ask about father is medical files, what medication he gets, uh, how much liquid he gets. Uh, basically, they, they blocked me from asking any kind of questions related to 
uh, I was told by the medical staff that I, it's the mother the one that is assigned as a carer and physicians would not give me any information uh, nor would any medical staff etc. They refused. This is basically what he gets. This is his food. And this is healthy stuff, uh, but not if you start to load, uh, you know, not if you start to load with some other issues. This is designed basically to work like this. Hvala što pratite. 
पूरी ड्रेस पे बाल बन गए ऐसा मैं मतलब स्ट्रिक्टली और कर और मैं तो बोले बाल दे रहा था कि मैं तो बोले बाल दे रहा था तो भैया यार ऐसा बोला तो को जम्मा तेरा Я бы чержу, жил я, бил я, пил я.